Hello and welcome to Beetle VR uh, and to the third chapter of the Desert uh, Desert Cobra campaign for the um, FA26B. Um, this is uh, one of the most difficult missions I found on Beetle VR, um, either in the Steam Workshop or in the stock campaign, uh, which is the reason why this particular campaign I'm not doing the live voice uh, as I fly, but I did the voiceover because uh, there's so many mistakes, so many. Um, failures in this mission that there was no point in doing the voice recording because I don't know where I am and consequently when I started doing it uh, this way I was successful from the first uh, in the first attempt so um, I'm gonna skip the briefing which you can read through yourself uh, but we're gonna look at the loadout for this mission so um, what we basically need to do uh, is um, have a sufficient number of AGM-65s, uh, I would recommend a minimum of four in order to tackle the ground-based uh, SAM sites, which are going to be giving you some uh, difficulties. Uh, and then get a sufficient number of uh, AIM-120s, which is the radar-guided missiles and, um, uh, and the heat-seeking uh, missile, which can also help you out in tackling some of the um, some of the missiles that are heading your way. <clears throat> also very important to have a number of uh, laser guided uh, GBU-12s uh, so you can tackle the, the ships that are in motion and um, stock up on the GBU-39 so the GPS guided uh, uh, missiles or uh, GPS guided bombs. <clears throat> so for this particular loadout as you can see I got um, a minimum of eight of these GBUs But I suggest you go with uh, with 12 just in case because there are so many uh, GPS uh, targets. So I hope you can see from the screen which loadout I'm using. I'm just trying to be very efficient in using these uh, hard points uh, to get more for you uh, for the back for more for my backs bucks. So as you can see. Um, three times four or 12 GPU 12s, four AGM uh, 65s, and then the rest, I think I got eight AIM 120s and six um, heat seeking missiles. <clears throat> Get at least, um, what was it, 13, 14,000 liters for this mission because it's a long mission uh, and there is no uh, refueling mid mission definitely. So I think I finally found a very good way to complete this mission in the easiest possible way. Um, I'm not sure if I tried this um, over and over, it will be every time successful because uh, there are so many different uh, variables in this mission uh, that sometimes you will complete it uh, rather easy, sometimes, uh, actually most of the times it will be complicated. I would say seven out of ten times uh, it would be failed. You would have to sort of upload many, many times in order to complete this mission. And take quite a lot of time. Take off and meet up with X-ray one. Once you rejoin, they will lead the attack. Stay tight, keep them alive. So there is no need uh, to Three rush. To come on, come to fly by. To find it from our tail. In the takeoff itself, because your mission basically starts uh, when you meet up with the X-Wing. So the X-Wing is going to be three uh, FA-26Bs uh, stocked up with uh, AGM-89s, so, um, so advanced cruise missiles or, or anti-ship missiles. Uh, and our task is not to destroy the ships, but our task is to actually make way for the X-Wing to do their job. So we need to destroy the, um, the radars. We need to uh, destroy as much of the um, anti-aircraft defenses so that the X-Wing can do its job. So first we're going to take off. As you can see, it's a very, very busy uh, airport, very busy uh, times. Even the enemy aircraft are um, sort of uh, flying over our airport, so it's not perfectly safe. Never had any issues with that. As you can see, I'm drifting here slightly, trying to get ahead of the um, other plane. One, 
So here we are, uh, once we are successfully um, in the air, uh, we're going to go and meet up with the X-Wing, who should be uh, just coming up on our screen, there they are. So get close to them, and then the mission will officially start. So basically the mission control is telling us that we should follow this GPS laid path which you can see on the map and you can see these triangles uh, on your screen <clears throat> which is the next selected uh, GPS target. I suggest you stay low because there are so many threats outside and if you if you do um, happen to go uh, higher in the air you might be targeted by uh, one of the SAM sites uh, in the area. So just keep to this uh, keep to this flight path that you're given. Uh, and do try to consume as much fuel as possible so you don't run so you don't run out uh, towards the end of the mission as you can see I'm still using my afterburn because I want to give some space to the um, X-Wing but I don't want to stray too far from them because on our flight path uh, we are likely going to be intercepted by one of the fighters that are normally uh, flying above the lake we can already see some of the ships popping up on our uh, radar warning um, system so whereas before I would avoid uh, to engage with these fighters um, only if needed to protect the X-Wing but this time I'm using a slightly different approach uh, I want to lure them in and I want to tackle those fighters um, and I want to try and force them to leave the lake so I can engage and then destroy them so that they wouldn't cause any problems to us later on because we will have enough threats as it is. So this is the strategy I choose I chose for this mission. So we will try and destroy as many fighters as possible before we even start attacking the lake. At one point you will notice that your wingmen will uh, will be telling you on the radio that they are engaging. Um, it is very important that you call them off, you tell them to disengage and then to form up, otherwise they will go on their own and they will get involved into a fighting which and you will probably lose them. And you will need all the firepower you can get later on, so make sure not to lose any of your wingmen before you start the attack. So we can already see 
some of those fighters uh, at the edge, edge of the lake heading our way and they are going to intercept us so they want to destroy the X-Wing and therefore render our mission completely useless so that's another key point don't lose any of the um, X-Wing fighters Okay, see, so we have at least two of them heading our way. So what I'm going to do now is pop up and try and destroy them. They don't necessarily have to show up on the radar because they are behind the hill. But as soon as you fly over the hill, you're going to see a low flying group of aircraft. Okay, there they are. So use your heat seeking missiles to destroy them. I would have preferred to save these for later, but. Um, I think this is definitely a better strategy. Okay, here's one more. Okay, so very unfortunate that one of our wingmen actually flew into the path of a heat-seeking missile and intercepted it. So what I will do, I'm going to uh, reload and, and try again from the last saving point. This is just unfortunate, but I think it's the right decision. Right, this is why it's important to save um, every so often, just so that you don't have to go back and fly. Um, this boring part again and again. I'm engaging. Same as before, they said that they are engaging. So it's very important to call them off immediately. So first go with disengage and then form up. Keep an eye on your X-Wing as well. see the enemy is concentrated just ahead of us
altitude. Okay, here we go again. Let's engage with uh, all these fighters that have uh, wandered to us. So some are in the distance, some are close, so we're going to use a combination of aim 120s for the farther ones. And then you can already see the two planes on our left hand side, the low flying ones. We're going to engage them with the heat seeking missiles. I believe they hit us, but nothing substantial, so we didn't sustain any significant damage. So the X-Wing X -wing is under threat, so we are now going to... Uh, I think we managed to... Uh, alleviate the threat. So now that they're, they wandered off far, far, far away from the lake, I decided to go for it and deal with this threat and minimize the threat for later on. So I would use the aim 120s. Pitbull, 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 I believe that this was actually essential in for the success of the mission later on. start with our um, suppression of enemy air defenses uh, before they start with their attack otherwise they're going to be Altitude. completely obliterated Altitude. the mission will be a failure because Altitude. you don't have um, sufficient Altitude. firepower to deal with Altitude. all the targets that we have around the lake
I believe in this mission, I'm probably going to to um, I'm going to be loading a uh, couple of times. From what I remember, I think I was shot down two times by a rocket, and third time I basically landed in the base, um, having forgotten to put the landing gear down. Um, so this is the part that I cut out from the uh, actual landing. Um, so I think it was a total of four uh, resets. At this point, what you want to do is you, you tell your wingman to uh, orbit this area before you start popping up. Uh, you don't want them to engage too early, so I'm popping up and I'm going a bit to the right from uh, the flight path which was sending me across this lake that you can see on the left hand side. And I'm trying to gain some altitude so I can see the targets and I can set the GPS markers. It is still um, too far at this point, so you don't see from the haze. Okay, we can now start seeing. So we are aiming for those um, spinning radars on all ships um, that are moored in the ha in the harbor, and also I'm targeting the two SAM sites which you're going to find here on the dock. So one and two, and then there is one radar dish on top of the building. Okay, so now switch to your GBU 39 and then destroy, um, I believe, all five targets that we've set. So we have 12 GBU 39s. Altitude. 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 Okay, so that's five bombs Altitude. away. Altitude. Now let's see if there is any air threat. It is very mild, as you can see, because we already Altitude. did um, a number on them previously. Altitude. 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 Okay, now you heard the message that new fighters are taking off from the airport. So we're gonna go and because there are no immediate air threats, we're gonna go, you can see the SAM, uh, ground-based SAM that is shooting at you uh, right now. I believe I'm going to be shot down very soon. So keep an eye on those rockets heading your way. So we're gonna start diving down, trying to get those rockets to lose their momentum. Okay, we have two heading our way, three. So dodged one. Okay, but not the second one. So basically, basically we have to go back and then repeat the first stage of the attack again.
X-ray is beginning their anti-ship attack now. Pop up and begin taking out all radar targets at heading 020. We're relying on you to make sure the cruise missiles meet their targets uninterrupted. So basically, same deal as before. Try to get close enough so that your optical, um, that you can uh, optically spot the target, identify those radar dishes, set them as GPS markers, but also at the same tra time try not to get shot down by uh, many missiles that are going to be heading your way. dishes, then two SAM sites. And then one dish on the on top of the building. So we can already see the GPS target approaching our target circle but I'm already identifying targets in the next base as I approach so you can see quite a few more ships uh, in this base uh, one radar tower okay so make sure to drop only five bombs on the first base and then the rest on the second base so you have to keep keep count Okay, so that's the first base out of the way. Okay, so more fighters coming in. Now I'm trying to find that ground-based uh, radar. So you will see, uh, on the second base, you will see two tents. And then the two SAMs will be in between those tents. Okay, diving down. Okay. So shut down again. I was paying too much attention to the actual targets and not paying attention to the threat. So what I should have done uh, was to bank a bit more to the right, just to stay away from the lake. So lesson learned. So let's do this all over again. Okay, I suggest you use the, the day mode here because you can uh, more easily see than if you would be using the color one. You can see the targets really pop out on the, on the black and white background. Here we go, for the first five. It's very important to be very to be patient when you do this mission. So don't try to do everything in one go as I just did. So you can see that at some point you're going to get overwhelmed by a number of missiles that, um, that are being fired on you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this time um, approaching my initial set of targets by defining the targets in the next base. And the same thing using uh, just uh, pinpointing on the radars of the ships uh, and one uh, radar tower of the airport Shoot. okay so first five bombs out of the way and then I'm trying to find so the radar tower is going to be right there. So what we now need to do is find those pesky SAMs uh, that will be sitting between the two tents. We are still not being fired at, which is good. So that gives us some time. Okay, there are the tents. And there are two 
So what I'm going to do is going to send AGMs to them. And then lose the altitude really, really fast. So when you're losing altitude, what you're doing is you're forcing the rocket to actually uh, use its power to try and uh, track you down. Which means it will be much more difficult for them to recover when they need to go back up because they will have lost most of their kinetic energy and they have a limited thrusters on them so this is a good strategy to uh, avoid missiles so I'm gonna go away from the lake I'm gonna lose the speed I'm gonna try and hide uh, uh, around this terrain which is not very good for hiding but it will do okay so one of the wingmen has already ran out of fuel uh, we now destroyed the remaining two ground-based uh, SAMs, so from this point forward the mission should become a lot easier. Just try and keep clear from the ships in the harbor because they have uh, rockets on them and they have the anti-aircraft guns. So now what we need to do is try and make a big arc uh, and approach um, this other base and then tackle the GPS targets that we have there. I believe we have around six remaining targets. So the order in which you put the GPS targets is very important, uh, otherwise it might be a bit uh, confusing. So we're gonna use the AGM here because all the other targets are basically grouped in the harbor. But at this point, I don't know which one of those is on the GPS target list. So that's, uh, that's slightly awkward, so I didn't do a very good job here. Shoot. So at the moment I'm slightly lost with my GPS targets because they're not coming up on my screen and I don't want to waste them, so... Uh, and also the problem is that I'm using, that I've selected the wrong GPUs. I'm, I selected the, the laser guided ones, what I need to do is switch to the GPS guided ones. So the, the laser ones are tied to my optical um, targeting system. So at the moment, as you can see, I'm trying to figure out what the hell is happening and I'm, I'm not realizing that I have the wrong bombs uh, selected. Okay, finally realized it. Okay, so now, having dropped all the bombs, I just need to uh, move away from the ship so I don't get hit. they are. Obviously they have their uh, radars switched off because my uh, end radiation screen is not picking up on them. Okay, so we managed to shoot one of them down. Two more remaining. Shoot. Okay, we're gonna send one of the AIM 120s. Then unlock and try and find the other one. engage with these fighters so I can concentrate on the next target which is the, the, the two or three ships, the moving ships that you can see uh, in the lake. 
Portland Lake, sorry. Over G. Now, the laser guided GPUs are the best uh, for the moving chips, but as you have to get really, really close, you then become uh, vulnerable to the attack from the ship itself. And just remember, your optic, uh, optical uh, sight is on your left, uh, left side, so you need to keep your target uh, in sight uh, whilst the bomb is in the air, otherwise uh, it will miss, which means it is best for you to circle around the target in the anti-clockwise direction. Uh, the ship is really... Uh, the ship is trying to shoot me down. When you use your optical sight, uh, you basically send a laser beam to where you want the bomb to hit. We, we just saw one of the rockets uh, fired out. Probably at us, if it's coming, it's coming to us. So we're gonna do the similar tactics, but we're gonna dip it down. And then once the rocket gathers speed, we will then change direction. Hopefully it will dissipate its own energy. Okay, so I believe the rocket hit one of the um, chops or flares. Okay, so we lost all the counter uh, measures. Okay, so one of the ships has been destroyed by... Uh, the X wing, probably. So we're gonna try and destroy the other one. Always aim midship. Um, I think that's where the bombs are most effective. Okay, we got it. So we now effectively destroyed both ships. This one is still moving, so it is still combat effective. So we're going to need to make another round. Actually, it's not it's not effective because the optical target doesn't lock onto it, so it means that it's just moving by inertia probably. So you can see eight out of ten ships have already been destroyed, which means that we did a really good suppression of the anti-air defenses, uh, and so only the two small boats um, remain to be destroyed in the first base. Okay, another missile threat avoid, uh, avoided. So we're gonna go back to the first base, the first one to be attacked, and destroy those two small ships, or one, one small ship, but you can see 9 out of them has already been uh, destroyed. So when you do a good um, when you do a good job, then the X-Wing is really effective, but if you don't, uh, then you will be left with about you know, three or four different ships that you have to destroy yourselves, uh, which is not easy, I can tell you. So I think we still have some AGMs to be used for this. Just trying to find those uh, small ships, the small boats, battle boats. Destroyed by probably one of our equipment, and you got the RTB message from the mission control. So at this point, don't loiter too much. Head directly to base, and hope you don't get destroyed uh, on the way there. So we still have some 28 minutes of fuel remaining at this um, thrust level, so Welcome. we should be good. Copy. And we're, we, we just sent our wingman back to base as well. 
yeah, so this is it. Um, as you can see, it's a very difficult, uh, complicated mission. Um, we are fighting in the enemy territory, uh, in the enemy controlled airspace, so um, sometimes you will have far more threats uh, from the air. You will still have some of the ground based uh, uh, threats, uh, SAMs, uh, ships, and, uh, and, and all that. So, um, as you can see, it really, really takes um, a lot of missile avoiding. So, make sure you practice those maneuvers before you start tackling this mission.
Thank you for watching uh, another mission. We're going to continue with this uh, campaign, uh, but I don't think we're going to find any other mission that is as complicated uh, or as difficult as this one was. Um, so let me know if this particular strategy I chose uh, will work for you, um, or if you have any other uh, better way to tackle this mission. Um, I would like I, I would like to know it, and if you you know if you have any ideas, I I, I might try and record them just to see how it works. But I think this is the best way that I found uh, so far. So as I taxi back to, to the base, uh, I thank you again for watching, and see you soon with uh, some more missions.
crew service ready.